Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and um, last in our rotation, I kind of put it out to you guys. I didn't see any takers on it, so we'll just we'll just knock it out. But it was how do we handle a multiple key up event? So, all right. So what we had last time was we had you would go through and you would move the key up the last time I, we, we wrote the program you lift you could go in a diagonal but when you lifted one key up it would stop because that was an event and then I showed you that there is a way to do it where you can lift a, a directional arrow key and it will continue on in the direction that the last arrow key was so all right let's copy that and it'll be just give us a second right here So here we go. This will do it where just one event causes it to stop. So all right, let's make sure we got this centered. All right, so we go this way and we go down, but then when I lift up, we got our diagonal, and if I lift up just one key, it stops. But that's not really a true event we need it to be if we want to continue up or sideways we want we need to be able to have one finger come up and and fix that so all right so this is this is how we do it let's get rid of this right here so let's think about if key up event all right. If event dot key equals pi game dot this is all key down. This is all caps. This took me a long time to remember that it was all caps. Or event. This is going to need to be expanded. Let's close that. Let's bring this over here. So, all right. Event dot key equals pi game, and we're going to talk about it. All right. Change y zero if event if event helps if I can spell like I've said not a spelling channel high game dot key underscore left or caps lock off event dot key pi game so I was doing the left and then now I need to do the right so all right and then change X to zero. So, all right, let's think about this for a second. So, the old way I had this 
if there wasn't a key up event, if a key registered up, I had that both change X and Y. Now, that was kind of mean of me to do that, but I wanted to see if anybody would talk, talk about it or catch it. So now here's a specific. So I have my, my vertical. So if, because you're not gonna hold down the key up and key down, the up and the down arrow key at the same time. So if one of those comes up, change Y to zero, continue on. If our horizontal, if our right or our left comes up, change the X to zero. Leave, leave the other the way it was, at a five or a minus five. All right, everybody got that? Let me do this one more time. So the last time I had, I had a key up event happen, we had our if, and then in this block I had both, both change X and change Y go to zero. Say stop, stop all the change. And that was kind of mean to me. But I wanted to get you guys thinking that that wasn't 100, that wasn't functional, that wasn't accurate. This is more accurate. So if there's an up event, now, okay, if there's a key up event, there needs to be more checking. Is it, an, is it a vertical or is it a horizontal? So if it was a vertical, change the vertical back to zero and continue on with whatever changes are happening or the opposite. If it's horizontal, only change the horizontal, keep the vertical the same. So now, let's see if I typed all this right and copied it right. Save. Let's see. Okay. So boom, down, down, over, over, up, up, over, up. Cool. There we go. So that is how that is done. And this is the event. You, you start digging down into the events. Well, it's just like our if state, just, I mean, just conditional. That's all it is, conditional this and that. And the reason why this works is you're not gonna be pressing up and down at the same time. That's just not, that doesn't make sense. So that's why you can do this with an or. So there we go. That's that. Why don't you guys give, give this video a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you guys are getting videos all the time, the alerts, because we got videos coming out all the time. So as always, thanks for watching. And you have any questions, comments, or my favorite, any video requests, please just put them in the comments and I'll get to them. So as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.